Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in today's video, we're doing another Epic Universe update from the amazing, fantastic Bio Reconstruct. And we're going to start off here with the Monsters Land. So, as you see here, we have an overview of the whole land, and there's a couple of arrows popping up on your screen right now. And the top arrow is the main attraction, the E Ticket Dra uh, Frankenstein attraction, Dracula Frankenstein attraction where all the monsters will escape and will be trying to chase you and get you as you find you're trying to exit out of the manor, Frankenstein's manor. This is that massive e-ticket attraction that will be include the Forbidden Journey ride system but upgraded and the lower arrows where the roller coaster is going to be, the rumored to be mock spinning coaster is going to be and we'll get into more details on that one later but let's start with the e-ticket attraction get a, get a closer view of this attraction so here's a close look of the manor attraction that's what i'll call it for now i'm not sure and i'm not even sure it has a rumor nickname but i'll be calling it the manor attraction this is the facade for the queue a very elaborate indoor queue we'll be walking through the halls of frankenstein manor through this queue and encounter rumored to encounter a animatronic of victoria frankenstein which would be very awesome there's some more theming popping up in the front. You can see lots of scaffolding um, for the manor, manor. And that means theming will be coming next. The facade materials and theming will be coming next. And it looks like to the foreground of that, a making of a courtyard area, which looks very interesting. Maybe we'll have a statue of some sort. I'm very curious about that. But yeah, this building is just about over that. Ash ride building is just about wrapped up, and yeah, the theming to the facade is really the only part that's left. Moving on here, here's the coaster, and you can see how close the coaster is going to be to the manor attraction. You can see lots of um, footers and a launch section. So the bottom arrow, arrow, the curvy arrow, is where those footers are, and that. There's a gray, um, the gray foundation. There's be a, a little launch section there right by all those footers. Then on the very top, the arrow by the big box that is the station and maintenance bay. So you see kind of covers the back of the land. It doesn't have very, very much of a big footprint, but that doesn't mean it won't be thrilling. This will be a, again, rumored mock spinning coaster. It was rumored to be something like the mock extreme spinning coaster, and then, but now it's going to be something more family oriented, like. Cobra's Curse over at Bush Gardens Tampa. Both of them very, very fun attractions. So, just because it's small doesn't mean it is going to be bad. And that is rumored to be themed to the Wolfman. But here, moving over, over to the hub, and this is the Helios Hotel. Progress is really zipping along for this one because the tower crane installed. And the curvy footprint of the hotel, the main tower, which is right here. So it was rumored to have, or not rumored, the permits say it will have 500 rooms and a lounge or outdoor viewing area on the rooftop for fireworks and just outdoor viewing, which is uh, be very, very cool. The people, hotel residents and hotel guests, and I'm sure people who go up to the bar lounge upstairs, well, front row access to the hotel or the fireworks viewing, which will be very, very cool. And this fireworks viewing will have a lot of seating in the main hub as well. So if you're not in the ups the lounge upstairs, you will definitely be able to see the fireworks from almost anywhere, I'm sure, in the hub. Moving on to the how to train your dragon area, the largest area of this park. You see a lot of stuff happening on the very top. You see the, the very top area, you see the... Uh, Starfall coaster that's the dueling racing coaster in the hub and you see the Great Hall which is where the middle arrow was with those pillows or pillars and then the big gray foundation area that is going to be a water feature for the how to train your dragon coaster which will dive quote unquote under the water and through caves and you'll be learning how to ride a dragon presumably which would be absolutely fantastic and see a lot of footage there for the coaster the coaster is going to be going all around the land it's almost be like almost like a enhanced people mover uh and it will be a coaster but people mover in the way that she goes all around the land and gives you a nice view of the entire land 
while also providing lots of thrilling elements. This will be a family coaster, though, like Donkey Kong. It'll be a family coaster. So don't expect any inversions or any high thrills. Something that all the family can go on. Here is a closer look at the How to Train Your Dragon coaster, the maintenance bay, and the station, and the first uh, launch coming out of the station, seems like. With all those footers, it's like a big area here. This is the central hub of activity for that coaster. And yeah, here's another shot at the maintenance bay in the foreground with the station and maybe a, a break run or a launch coming into the station. This coaster looks absolutely fantastic. You see track pieces are on site. And not on site, but they're also installed in these black. Those are black track pieces. And the footers to the, or the building to the left is that theater, rumored theater show for the How to Train Your Dragon Land. Moving on to the hub now, the largest non-land in the park, or largest in the park that's not a land. This area, you see the Helios Hotel, a more grander view of it, two cranes on site, one tower crane, and a couple of the other cranes. This main section here is a water feature. It's gonna be, you can see an amphitheater structure being built around it. This will be for a World of Color style show. These amphitheater seats will also be, uh, I'm sure, good viewing spots for the fireworks. This area right here is actually going to be a flat ride. There's two rides in the hubs. The rumored Starfall coasters and the dueling racing coaster, which is rumored to be called Starfall coasters. Or Starfall, Starfall racers, sorry. And then the spinning flat ride. This is rumored to be a mock spinning splash ride or just some sort of spinning aqua ride in general it's rumored to be themed to the water and the water area of the hub the hub will have four distinct areas like based on the elements of like water fire air space this will be the water segment moving on to an overview of the hub again uh, Bio Reconstruct here has laid out some awesome numbers for us to pinpoint what we're looking at. Two was that water splash ride. One is a restaurant. I think the barbecue restaurant. And Super Nintendo World is hanging out right up top where those triple arrows are. You see the Yoshi People Mover and Mario Kart ride building there. As well as the major gift shop that is being built outside the land all the lands will have major gift shops but they'll be building they'll be built outside of the land so if the lands close or if they're not open yet or for that capacity people can still shop at the lands in the park which is a great idea in my opinion and here's a whole overview of the hub you can see the whizzing worlds all the way in the back and you see the portal suit you see the classic monsters portal that's where number one is the whizzing world portal which is number three and each land will have the same style portal with each with a different design, um, which will be pretty cool. And again, these will be one way in and one way out land. So each land can be sectioned off and closed. Or if it's at capacity, you can go to, to the other lands. And of course, number four is the Helios Hotel. Zooming in to the Starfall Racers coaster here. You can see since our last update, the track has been there, but more track has been added, including an airtime hill. An airtime hill and what a portion of a, either, I don't know if that's going to be a helix or just a turn. But yeah, that airtime hill looks quite, quite fun. And I, the track colors are, are nearly identical, but one's gold and one is yellow, I guess I'd say, for these racers. And now we move on to the last world, the Wizarding World, which is going to have... A, Ministry of Magic attraction, and a potential second attraction later on down the line, but also maybe a theater as well. That theater is what is being scaffolding to the right-hand side. The Wizarding World attraction, the Ministry of Magic, the main attraction, you see, look at that. The show opening is out of picture. It's actually com fully complete. All that you see right there in the foreground is the queue. Which is incredible. It's going to be a crazy, amazing queue. You can be going through the flu network to be transported into the Ministry of Magic and fight along the mentors and the dark, uh, the Death Eaters to try to get Miss Umbridge back in jail. Is the rumored, um, rumored uh, 
storyline. She's getting a timepiece, and you want to get those timepiece back because she wants to bring back, um, I was about to say Ultron, Voldemort, and you have to stop her from doing that. But look at that massive show being. That is incredible. And here again, you can see the Wizarding World portal right there, just all by itself, that concrete gray building. And then this can be, there's going to be the Arc de Triomphe over there. Actually, no, so the, there's the Wizarding World portal where number two is. Number seven is, the, again, that Wizarding World gift shop that will be outside of the land. And again, all your Harry Potter merchandise or Wizarding World merchandise, Fantastic Beasts, whatever, in that land. And then there'll be a variety of shops and restaurants and a theater attraction for you. And then a potential secondary attraction down the line. Again, Universal does great work, especially when it comes to the Wizarding World. So I cannot wait to see the realization of the Ministry of Magic attraction. This is going to be, and just the queue, which is going to be incredible. The attraction itself is going to use an upgraded version of the Scoop Beagles. They'll be able to go up and down relatively quickly to make it feel like you're in one of those elevators. You know, then the Ministry of Magic, the elevators go side to side and up and down relatively quickly. They're going to use a scoop vehicle, which is the Transformers slash Amazing Adventures of a Spider-Man ride vehicle, to try to accomplish that, accomplish that, which I'm very excited to see how they can make it, make it work. Apparently, it's in there. they upgraded it, so you can do some, a whole bunch of new movements, which is to be very exciting. But that is it for this week's Super Nintendo, well, Epic Universe update, which included everything but Super Nintendo World. That will be in a later update for Epic Universe. Um, if you liked this video, press that thumbs up and subscribe for more theme park updates and share. Share it to all your friends so they know what's going on in Florida and what's going on at Epic Universe. And as always, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, everybody.